My name is Lona Ngumalo. I'm a member of San Francis of Assisi since 2001. Our Advent word for today is comfort. What is comfort? According to some of the definition, it's a state of physical ease and freedom from pain or constraint. The easing or alleviation of a person's feeling of grief or distress. Yes, we all need comfort, whether we believe or we don't believe in God. When we are comforted, the pain is lessened. I ask myself whether God wants us to be comfortable. He wants for us not to have an easier life, but a stronger self. And comfort isn't a bad desire. As a matter of fact, God describes himself as our comfort. He tells us to come to him when seeking comfort. I believe that God wants us to be comfortable and I think God wants us to expand and for us to live outside our comfort zones. God puts more importance on our self-development rather than our comfort. However, at the end of it all, we get comfort from our Heavenly Father. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 11, Therefore comfort each other and edify one another, just as you also are doing. We go through trials and tribulations in life for us, but not for us, but for others so we can comfort them through our own experiences. As humans, we look for external pleasures to comfort us, like food, alcohol, or just going on a buying spree, but those are temporary. As we seek comfort from God through prayer, we also are able to bring comfort to those around us. We are able to preach the gospel by how we strive to live our own lives. We are called living testimonies or living sacrifices. How we live in God's grace says much more and shines much brighter than what we say. In Matthew 5 verse 4, Blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. When we grieve the loss of our loved ones, we find comfort in the Lord. When we face death, who do we look up to? The dying person will see God and those left behind will find peace in the Lord. Psalm 23 verse 4 to 6 Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. It simply means that God can bring comfort in all areas of our life. He can bring comfort if you are dealing with sickness. His word tells us by his stripes we are healed. God wants us to be comfortable, but God wants us to expand and live outside our comfort zones. What are some of the things we as Christians should be more comfortable with? We should pray. We should share our faith. We should teach others. The year 2020 has been a difficult year. Our faith has been tested and our souls are troubled. But believing in God and trusting our Heavenly Father, going to Him for comfort is knowing that He is faithful. He will never leave us nor forsake us. The God of hope and comfort will look to you with an open heart and yearning spirit during this Advent season. We will keep alert and awake, reading and listening to your word, keeping to your precepts. Our hope and comfort is in you. Wishing you all a blessed week. Amen. <music>